here's the version 2 of the CAT Exciter and for the interesting backstory on this have a look at my previous video now basically this version is more similar to the one which Zero dreamed of and it has the two prongs on the left which output the energy there's no conventional tower and instead it uses a ferrite piece with about 200 250 turns on it and those prongs actually allow that energy that's created by the collapse of that coil uh, to come out through those prongs it really is fascinating and works as the dream stated it's amazing at the moment I've got it running from rainwater and that demonstrates the low uh, low power needs of this device and why the 470 UF capacitors are used so what I'll do now is I'll demonstrate it running from various sources and what it can do these LEDs are basically on an AV plug and the wire connects to the negative using the water here it can connect to the positive as well but at least the circuit has enough about it to flash now 16 LEDs from water If we change over to an AA, things get very interesting indeed. First of all, it's able to light the floral there from the prongs. It shows the usage of the prongs on the original circuit. Oh, and I must just mention, there is the original circuit that Zero saw in his dream. And here is the schematic for this version 2. And on the other diagram, I did make a mistake. I had the diodes going to the wrong place they do connect to the base and you can see where the W1 and W2 are there which are the wire prongs which are a bit like a Jacob's ladder so that's the circuit and as I say bring it to the prongs and the fluorescent lights up now also this is where we start to get the very interesting radio type noises and on the end of the video I'm going to show something very strange indeed which you might not like if you don't like uh, sort of acid house music but anyway the point being that these run <coughs> in particular bands on the AM there we are if I, if I dial in there and the point about the variable the variable capacitor it does make quite a difference turn it up a bit It does make quite a bit of difference with the tuning when you do find the actual point. The cameras aren't too interfering at the moment. That seems to be that. As you can see there's interference like that, which I'll show at the end of the video. But as far as uh, the radio stuff works, it is an interesting phenomenon. Uh, let's see now. Here we also have the neon and that comes on very nicely indeed and that's the 1.5 volts now change now to 3.7 volt lithium ion the lights blazingly bright the fluorescent will light to a much further range away uh, if we put a light bulb near 13 watt that comes on really quite nice indeed and especially for the size of coil there so that's quite nice like that okay now for that rather zany bit with the music I just thought I'd add what this next part of the video is about because people might think it very strange but here is a project I built a few years ago which is a 8 part step time sequencer and it emulates the famous Roland TB303 acid box the one that made all the acid noises in house music of the early 90s and uh, this thing desperately needs a bit of a clean up but um, I hope to get it running again and basically a step time sequencer that made very very strange noises and uh, that's what you'll hear this little circuit doing because uh, the bass notes that you can get when you get the radio tuned in just to the right broadcast his signal by this are really quite amazing so that explains what the next bit's about